move it deeper out into the outfield that you can feel clearing the snow off. Eric Wedge meeting with the Indians official scoreboard that's being brought to you by Metro Health Saving Lives is only the beginning. And on the Major League Baseball count on the number nine hitter Jose Lopez when and if we get back underway. But I think we are going to get back underway because we I think they would have just called it if they just didn't think we had a chance to play some more. The most interesting thing will be once we get back underway, do we stay underway if we get out of this inning? Right. Do they keep on playing or have they all had enough? I think if you get one more squall like this that, that comes in, should they play it? Should they get an out? And, you know, it could be an official game. I would think the umpires would then call it. If you're the Seattle Mariners, do you do you have a beef about why this game was being why this game took so long to play? You know, how many different scenarios they went through because really most days it was a sellout crowd that was anticipated today and I'll tell you at its highest peak when the weather was clear we still had a very very good crowd here today and a crowd that was really having fun and into the game when Bird was trying to close the thing off before that last batch of snow moved in it was like a bottom of the ninth scenario yeah, really that he was, was going to pitch a complete game and shut the Mariners out. They were on every pitch. They were up on two strikes, but he just couldn't get that last pitch in before Jose Lopez said to the umpire, I cannot see. So even John Adams oh, look out at there him. in the bleachers. Look at him. With the drum, the big Indians drum trying to beat home a win here today at Jacobs Field. CC Sabathia would pitch tomorrow for the Indians. Then on Sunday, Fausto Carmona in the rotation and with the Indians. Probably, Rick, wouldn't you say if Cliff Lee had been healthy, Carmona would have started the year in Buffalo? Yes, there's no question about it. He probably would have, uh, but Cliff Lee, you know, on a side session throwing in the bullpen. Uh, it, but that goes to show you your depth that you're going to have to have as an organization. And Carmona stepped in last year and pitched well. And uh, you know, then they ended up going to the bullpen or going back to Buffalo and coming up back up as a bullpen guy. Rick, uh, a lot of people were very excited about Adam Miller. Young Adam Miller, the spring he yeah, had. They have every it, right. He opened some eyes up, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he really did. And at one point people were wondering, boy, it, you know, is he challenging for an opportunity uh, to get up here? Well, it all depends on what happens. I think he still needs some more seasoning, but he certainly has a great arm, and they knew that coming in because they shut him down last year for that Futures game. They were not going to let him pitch because of the number of innings that he did pitch. And Chicago already canceled their game with Minnesota tonight. That's got to be coming this way. And here we are. We were able to play in Chicago yesterday. They were already called and postponed their game. So it goes to show you this weather is not going to get much better for this series. Let's take another time out here from Jacobs Field as we continue to hope that we can get this game back underway. The Indians leading over the Mariners 4 nothing. We're back with you on Channel 3 after this time out. Out here in the near future because when they summoned them back again, one umpire went to the Seattle dugout, one went to the Indian dugout and says, come on, boys, we got to go look at something. So we should find out here short, shortly, but those guys, uh, the, the day and the time and the work that they've done, um, they have been doing this all day long. And again, people said now they were here all night because this started and really the hints of it started on Wednesday, all day yesterday, Thursday. You guys were flying in from right, Chicago right. and it picked up. There were parts of the highways last night that were shut down. A lot of accidents on the side of the road. People thought maybe it would cool, stop, not cool down. It was definitely going to cool down, but the snow would slow down for Friday and we get the game in with all of the windows of opportunity being wide open for them. They thought maybe with the four o'clock start that would enhance them the opportunity to get the game in, but not so. It picked up and it continued all morning long and we have been stop and go, I think is the best way to describe it all day long and into the evening now at 814 here on the clock at Jacobs Field still not an official game and the grounds group trying to make it a baseball field a playable one yeah, at that. that's right they certainly are this has been the strangest 
game I think I have ever been at. I've uh, seen some snow. So we wait for movement out there. The grounds crew is getting the opportunity to move through that outfield and get as line well. out there, I would imagine. Four nothing, the Indians in the lead. The game not yet official. That's why we're hanging around so long. The snow's been in and out. When it comes in, it really comes in, and it almost becomes at its worst a whiteout at Jacobs Field. I am truly amazed that there's this many people still left at the ballpark when you consider this game was supposed to start at four. A lot of people were here downtown early because of opening day and the festivities, and it's uh, about 8.20, and there's still people. And you can see there, some of them not underneath the concourse, but look at, they're ready to roll. And I'll tell you what. Jimmy in a hurry. Well, the feeling back in the press box with people back there is that they've let it go this far. They're going to try and get the one out, continue the game from that point. Next squ next snow squall comes in, that would be good. Okay. I mean, that's the feeling out there. Now, that is not any word from the umpire's room, but... Um, I think you're right. I think we're, we're very close to being at breaking point here that the umpires might say, listen, this is ridiculous. Yeah, the patience certainly wears out after a while, and they've gone above and beyond the call of duty to try and get this thing in. They really have. They've been patient. And, you know, there just comes a point in time where you say, hey, look, it, we've tried. We can't do it. The weather is just not permitting us to get this ball game in. All right, let's go to the STO update desk right now. Brian Collins got an update for us from around the major leagues. Donovan and Rick Manning back with you here at Jacobs Field. And Rick uh, looking out there right now. Snow has picked up again. But again, we'd look up to the radar behind us. Things look to be okay over the lake. So you might be in one of those situations again where they say, you know, you're 10 minutes away from being okay. Hang on. I think we just had a ruling. Well, that's the crew chief, Rick Reed, is. He may have just made his 